Welcome to my morning report analysis videos on Tuesday, the 16th of April, with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Hansit Markets. We've got a, um, a slightly Im uh, improved outlook on equities, um, and that's been sort of uh, coming amid uh, the backdrop of a, a fairly mixed outlook on Forex at the moment. But um, those equities have just jumped back higher again. We had a bit of a lackluster session yesterday. Earnings in the States were pretty, pretty drab, not great. Um, earnings out from uh, Goldman Sachs and Citigroup, which sort of saw Wall Street having a little bit of a consolidation session, but that's um, pulled back higher again this morning. Um, and that certainly has helped uh, on the futures, and that has helped to pull Asian markets higher. And also, we've seen uh, some decent gains coming through the European markets as well, around about half a percent higher across the board uh, on uh, DAX, CAC and FTSE. Um, but this is coming as Forex markets look a little bit, um, little bit mixed really. We've seen um, bond yields uh, which have just stalled a, a touch yesterday and today and that's um, meant that uh, FX markets are not really doing a great deal but it's interesting that you can still see uh, the euro spread against, um, sorry, the uh, bund spread against uh, treasuries still tightening which is uh, euro positive and that uh, is being reflected in the fact that the euro is holding back above that 13 big figure level. I'll talk about the implications of that in my chart analysis videos. We've also got dollar yen, which is um, back under 112 figure again. Resistance area at 112 spot 10. Uh, again, the implications I will go through in the videos in a bit. Um, now, this is a key one because uh, gold has been tracking back lower, um, not a million miles off 1280 now. Silver is the one to watch, I think, in this regard. So um, my uh, chart of the day is silver today. Now, um, in terms of what we've got to look forward to today, um, you'll, you'll be looking out for some UK unemployment data. And also we're looking out for German ZEW. Um, but UK unemployment, first of all, expected to be um, stable at 3.9% on unemployment, but average weekly earnings expected to tick an improvement to 3.5%, so that would be positive. Now, German ZEW at 10 o'clock will be interesting. That's expected to go positive to 0 0.8. Now, to show you the chart of that, you can see here it hasn't been positive um, for over a year now on the ZEW, so that, it, again, does that hint at a turnaround? Well, we've seen the last few months on the German ZEW have been improving and uh, we're about to go positive um, for the first time in over a year. And this afternoon we've got US jobless claims, so, well, jobless claims, US industrial production, sorry. Um, and that's expected to be 0.2% positive um, growth for the month of March and uh, capacity utilisation maintaining at 79 spot 1. Now, my chart of the day is silver, as I said. Now, silver had a significant move intraday yesterday, actually breached this 1490 support, and that has been a level that had been holding. That's That was an old neckline. Look at the importance of that breakout. Returning to that becomes supportive. 1490 has been holding recently, but broke decisively to 1481 yesterday, then rebounded into the close. But it does look as though with this building downtrend, with the momentum indicators all falling away, suggesting that there's further downside pressure building, you've got rallies that are increasingly being sold into. 1514 is an old level. Um, which was an old support, became uh, again supportive and breaking down. It's been a bit of a pivot area. So 1514, resistance overhead, and that resistance of that downtrend comes in at 1518 today. So I think that this is an important moment. If, um, if silver starts to close below 1490, that would be a really significant breakdown. And technical implications of that for gold could be significant as well. So this is a really important period for silver. It can, continues to put pressure on that 1490 level, but looking at the momentum indicators, it is um, not especially positive. Now, could you argue that yesterday's candlestick was a, was a bull hammer? Well, I'm not entirely convinced yet. Certainly you'd need to see a, a positive session today and the market starting to move higher. But I think until you get a breach of this downtrend, I'm not entirely convinced that this is um, 
this would be uh, a recovery that you'd be backing and uh, looks like pressure is building on that 1490 level. You can see here on the hourly chart where you're negatively configured, the RSI continues to struggle around 60, the MACD line's struggling around neutral. Rallies, these tend to be sold into on silver at the moment. So pressure on that 1490 level is building, not a closing breakdown yet, but if there were to be one, you'd be looking at next support around 1446, 45, and then possibly even a retest of those old key lows around 1380. 14 big figure so yeah with this, uh, that in mind I wish you good luck in your training today and I'll speak to you later